Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to give you a look into measure drill through. This is an update to the normal drill through feature that's been around since September of 2017, but they just updated it to allow a couple of things really. Um, they now allow you to send multiple filters through to the next page instead of just the one filter uh, that you were passing through drill through and they also allow you to pass measures so you don't just have to use categorical variables now you can now use entire measures so I'm going to give you a look into how these changes have really affected how you will build reports in the future so I'm going to set up a normal drill through this is on my details page I have an overview page and I have a detail page and this detail page just kind of shows all those different slicers and how uh, and what we're passing through so if I want to set normal drill through, let's say I want to pass in the country. I'm going to go to dim geography and English country region name and throw that in the drill through well. So by default, we now have this keep all filters. Um, it's just a toggle on or off. So by default, it's on for new reports, but we can turn that off and make it work just the way that drill through has always worked. So right now I'm passing in English country region name through the drill through just like normal. So if we go to the overview, we can right click on United States, drill through and detail, and that'll just show us the United States. Uh, but you see that no other filters are passed through, such as if I select, I had selected management, but if I also select maybe uh, mail, um, if I select mail and I pass through Australia, you can see that Australia gets passed through um, as you can see by the name, but you see no other uh, filters have been passed through. So that's where measure drill through comes in. We can now select keep all filters and turn that on. So if we want to do this again, and let's say we pass through United Kingdom and we drill through, you can see that we now have these other two filters passed through, mail and management. Um, that's really, really awesome. Um, so if we change a couple things, let's say we change our date range to show only a smaller portion, 2012, just to the beginning of 2013, and we'll change this to clerical and female, and we pass through France, we now see that we have the date range that we specified, we have all of our filters, and um, our measure is working the exact same way. I mean, it's only using our filter uh, our filters based on the date range and the filters that we pass through and we're only getting France. So it's working exactly like we expected. But there's one more thing that I want to cover here uh, and it's really the reason they call it measure drill through. So far I've only shown you how it keeps all the filters but we can get rid of all of these drill through um, filters and I can actually pass a measure in now instead of just these categorical variables. So I have a measure here that shows the running total of um, customers over time so by the end of this date range we have like 279 customers given all of these filters so if I go to detail and I pass in this running total uh, measure I can pass that into the drill through well one thing to notice is that the keep all filters button is now grayed out and it's stuck on on and that's because measures are entirely determined based on the filter context so it has to pass through all the filters. It has to keep all of that filter context to properly calculate the measure. So let's go back to the overview page and I'm gonna change up something. I'm gonna change it to male, professional, and we'll make the date range from the beginning and I'm gonna pass through Canada. So if I, oh sorry, I'm gonna pass through um, this point right here on the running total. So it's gonna take me to the detail page and I have mail and I have professional. I didn't filter by a country, but take a look at this. So I have this kind of interesting date range. It's only August 9th, 2012 to July 14th, 2012. And the running total is only 13. That's because I actually clicked on a date of running total. So it's passing through the filter context of the point that I'm actually clicking here. So I had passed in, I think it was August of 2012, something around here, and I drilled through. It only sent this one bar for my running total graph. So it's really just passing through that filter context of that one point. Uh, to get to act, actually act like we wanted, if we got rid of the week date here, 
and just kind of got rid of that. This would be more like we were expecting. Like this is a, a running total as we pass through. 811 is the total number of uh, customers we have gained with this entire filter context. But that's kind of a look into how you can use measures um, as drill through filters. And doing so passes through all the filters that would go into calculating that measure. So um, measure drill through is really a cool feature that they added. It's something that people have been asking for for a long time, wanting to keep all the filters of your report page instead of just the filter that you're passing through. So go ahead and give it a try. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.